Okay, here I'm going to talk about LED grow lights, which stands for light emitting diodes. And here's one in the grow tent uh, by Fluence. It's a full spectrum LED light. So LED stands for, again, a light emitting diode, and this is what they look like. Uh, many, many little tiny diodes that come together to produce that nice full spectrum. This is where the greatest uh, advancements are being made, the LED light market. Light fixtures are um, made up of many, many small bulbs, or these kind of diodes. The light is efficient and directed downwards towards the plant canopy. LEDs also produce low heat and are energy efficient. Keep in mind, low heat does not mean no heat, but compared to some of the other options, cooling becomes less of a concern here. While it's still important, you may not to be as efficient uh, than compared to some of the other um, lighting options that exist. There are the purple colored lights as we see here, but the full spectrum white lights are coming on the market and are gaining popularity as we can see here. Because no special glasses are required and they provide a presentable grow space in, in appearance and also benefit the plant growing. Spectrum produced closely matches the needs of plants, so it's a very efficient way to produce light. These grow lamps are utilizing a combination of blue and red to produce spectrums um, to best fit plants' needs. This is why they are gaining popularity because the plants um, can grow basically from seedling to veg to flower under the same lighting here. Now some growers are reporting improved cannabinoids and terpenes with the full spectrum LED lights. They're energy efficient compared to typical fluorescence and HAD lamps and generate minimal heat. These lights have the ability to produce infrared ultraviolet light including colors in between these spectrums. Can also last very long. The Fluence uh, Spider X Plus LED lights can hold peak brilliance, which is 70% or greater, for 100,000 hours. So that's a great selling point just there in the sense that you don't have to keep changing bulbs out or worry about getting up and, you know, moving uh, a fixture if you need to. This is one of the things you can put in place and be guaranteed for a very long period of time. The advantage of the LED lights, and these are the full spectrum lights, um, they're considered to be the future, they're making improvements, and they're um, even currently some of the newer ones out are really um, well advanced uh, lighting options. They offer a full spectrum, which is a great feature. They have a very long life, low energy consumption, and low heat production. However, with all those pros, there's still some cons. The initial costs, they tend to be more expensive, and the total coverage area in some cases can be limiting. Providing one as an example, the Fluence Viper uh, uh, 2X, which I have in the grow tent, here's an example just before I set it up, it is a full spectrum light, it's energy efficient. I got the um, added dimmer here. It's got great coverage and high PPFD ratings. In addition, while these do last long, they have cooling fins. There are no motors here to run cooling fans, which will burn out and cause all sorts of issues in the long run. Uh, this is just basically passively cooled here. And with the carbon filter and ventilation system I have, I'm able to exhaust the air to keep the general environment um, at a proper grow temperature. But it's great that there's no fans in here uh, to allow long operation uh, in addition to the diodes and runs does generate some heat but runs relatively cool the fact that it's dimmable allows me to use it throughout the entire grow cycle uh, and has been a great full spectrum light to have in the grow tent